All right, y'all, like I said in the last video, I'm back with another nursing advice video. And this one is gonna be related to your relationship with your CNA. Now, I know, well, at least for me, I always wanna be really cool with my CNAs because I was a CNA and I know how it was with the nurses who felt like, uh -uh, that is your job, you a CNA, I am the nurse, and I'm not doing that. And I never wanna be that nurse. But at the end of the day, that is a CNA, and you are the nurse. That y'all not friends, y'all not friends, y'all not homies, y'all not cool. It's not like y'all gonna collaborate on decisions and stuff like that. Because there's a reason that you went to school and that you got the degree and that you are in the position of authority over them. Now I know, I know, I used to be the CNA who felt like, no, 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 the nurse is not over me, the nurse not hire me, the nurse. But to an extent. You are over them. Like, you give them directions. You give them instructions. And when need be, you teach them how to do certain things. So, you are, in a sense, in a position of authority over them. And I don't want to offend any of my CNAs, so don't begin on that line. Oh, be da 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 whatever. No, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. But, I mean, for those of you who are CNAs who become nurses, like, you know what I'm saying. Like... You know what I'm saying. That's why they started off, well, now they're called patient care technicians, but, you know, their original name is CNA, which is Certified Nursing, Nurses Assistant, whatever. Point being, I'm not trying to belittle CNAs. I'm not trying to act like what y'all do ain't important because, my God, I could not do my job without a CNA. Like, I, I just don't know how I could do it. But in the same sense, some of the CNAs, be acting like they above me and that's what we run into some problems and so with that being said me as a nurse and you as a nurse you have to know when to put your foot down when it comes to your CNAs like boo I asked you to do something and I expect you to do it and I'm just gonna give y'all an example just so y'all know that I'm not tripping I'm not just saying go give her some water while I'm sitting over here kiki keying no I was sitting down, y'all. I was legit. I was sitting down and I was charting. Boom, 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 doing what I got to do. I'm charting. And this patient says he wants pain medication. It's time. It's literally time for the CNA to do um, check the sugars. It's 7.45. The CNA was supposed to start checking sugars so they'll be ready at 7.30. So I said, okay, cool. He want pain medicine. I also know that he needs insulin. So let me, you know, cluster my care and let me do both at the same time. Let me just go and check and see, okay, what is his sugar? Ain't no sugar. Ain't no, ain't no glucose level. So I asked the CNA, I said, hey, did you get the sugars? Cause I'm thinking, oh, maybe she wrote them down. She just gonna input them. She said, oh no, I haven't got him yet. And proceeds to pull out her phone and continue flicking through. And I said, um, can you go get the sugar because I need it? Oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I'll go get it. <laughs> so funny. So I said, does she not understand what I had meant when I had said go get it? Maybe she thought I meant so I stopped what I was doing and I turned and I just looked at her and I was just like, and I waited for, cause she sat there for another three minutes and I was just like, so you not, oh, so she didn't know plan. So then finally she got up and she would go get the sugar and granted, you know, the man ended up having to wait an extra 15 minutes. And if y'all know anything about these patients who want their pain medication, they're not trying to wait 15 minutes when they know it was due 15 minutes ago or it became available 15 minutes ago. They're not trying to wait. They're not trying to hear nothing about no sugar. They don't care. But for me, it's time consuming when one, I have to get somebody to witness for the pain medication and also witness for the insulin. So now I got to go find somebody, bring them back, get them to witness, come back, get you your pain medication. Then I gotta go find somebody again, get them to witness for the insulin. That takes a lot when I can just have one person to just witness for both if the person needs insulin. So with all that being said, 
I say that just to say, sometimes you got to put your foot down when it comes to your CNAs. Like, you have to. And it's not you being rude. It's not you being, like, thinking that you're better. But at the end of the day, you're not here to be on Facebook. And then this one CNA, I can already tell, like, I'm going to have an issue with her because she takes super duper long breaks. She don't, like... She don't want to do, she just want to chat. She want to talk. Like, if you, if you like, oh, let's talk about your kids. She's ready. She's all here for it. But when it comes time for her to do stuff, she always got an excuse. She's here. She's there. She's always on the other floor. And I'm like, why do you come into work? Like, you make me so mad. Like, I really wish that they would fire you. So that way the people who come into work are people who are actually willing to work. Now, if the work is done, like, if we just chilling and, you know, the call light go off, I don't immediately look at my CNN and go, you gonna answer that? I don't. I get up and I do it myself. But if I'm doing something, I expect you to go handle it. And don't look at me like, oh, you ain't doing nothing. You just sitting there charting. Yes, this charting is important. This is a legal document and I have to make sure that it's right. So yes, I'm sitting here and I'm taking my time charting. You ain't doing nothing. You on your phone. You on Facebook. You need to go and do what I told you to do because you should have been got them sugar. I'm sorry, y'all. But yeah, so put your foot down with your CNAs. You know, sometimes you gotta pull them to the side and be like, hey, listen, I'm not trying to be your mama. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Sorry, y'all. The video cut off and that must have been God saying, calm down. So I need to calm down. But um, yeah, I'm gonna end this video again saying, put your foot down when it comes to your CNAs. Now to the CNAs who work hard, I love y'all, and I thank God for y'all, like, I don't know, I don't know what else to say, like, I don't know, y'all need an award, y'all need, y'all need CNA, we, we really need to make a CNA appreciation day, but it would be petty because I would only invite the ones who work hard, and I mean, like, that day, we need to gift y'all with some free cards for manicures and massages and because y'all deserve it y'all deserve it we should have a cna of the month award okay where us as nurses because there's enough of us to all get together and and bring our monies together um you know it ain't got to be a lot twenty dollars a nurse you know what i'm saying five nurses that's a hundred dollars you know what i'm saying but twenty dollars a nurse and and we all gift it to a cna like that's how much i love y'all but for to y'all to the ones who know y'all ain't doing nothing like find a new job just find a new job and with that being said y'all i'm out see y'all in the next video